Magnitude Travel Guide. And I'm in Bury St Edmunds to show you the final resting place of Mary Tudor, sister of Henry VIII and obviously Queen of France. So come with me and I'll take you into the church and let's look at her tomb together. Welcome to St Mary's Abbey in Bury St Edmunds. So we're here today in St Mary's to actually look at the final resting place of Mary Tudor, Queen of France. So a little bit about Mary first of all. So of course uh, Mary was Henry VIII's younger sister and in uh, 1514 she was married to the King of France, the aging King of France, Louis XII. She went to France, uh, unfortunately remained married for only about three months. The king died, I think it was New Year's Day, in 1515. Uh, Mary was then put in seclusion in order to find out whether she was bearing the king's child. Um, and she was frustrated, she was absolutely distraught at what had happened and Charles Brandon was dispatched to bring Mary back to England. But Mary begged Charles to marry her and he did. Of course, that was without the consent of the king. And so when they came back to England, Henry was a little bit cross, to say the least, and they had to pay very large fines. Um, but eventually they were forgiven and they were remarried at Greenwich. However, Mary um, came and spent most of her time uh, in Suffolk, in the Duke of Suffolk's uh, country residence at West Thorpe Hall, which is not too far away from here. And uh, there she lived, very popular in Suffolk, uh, came to Bury regularly apparently and had a pavilion even on Angel Hill here. But she died in 1533 um, and she was originally laid to rest in uh, the main abbey building which is a little bit over in that direction. But of course the abbey building was eventually um, dismantled and destroyed at the dissolution of the monasteries. And so what happened was that Mary's body was taken from the abbey and was moved here to the Church of St Mary, which was originally the parish church in Bury St Edmunds, but part of the original abbey complex. And so here we have the tomb of Mary, Queen of France. Obviously, it's, you can see, it's a very, very simple tomb. But if you just come forward and have a look, you'll just see inscribed here quite simply, Mary, Queen of France, 1533. Now we've seen the final resting place and tomb of Mary Tudor. So I think that's all for me for now. So it's goodbye from Mary St Edmunds. But remember, do check out the blog for all my latest Tudor adventures, which is on www.thetudortravelguide.com. And if you're out and about and you're taking pictures, please do hashtag them on social media, hashtag TTTG. Okay, so that's all for me. I'll see you on our next adventure.